Hello and welcome, I'm Carbon Chili and this is the extravaganza that is my channel where we play professional games unprofessionally. Now, I seem to be on a little bit of a kick of, um, ooh, what do you call them, sim life type games, life, uh, evolution, development type things. I, I had a look at Thrive the other day, which should be going up maybe later today. Uh, we are going to be looking at territory today, which is a sort of a, a, a more polygraphic version. It really did appeal to my sense of aesthetics, this one, which you'll see in a moment when we jump into the game. I can't help but think a lot of the artwork has come from the website Flat Icon. I, I'm sure I've seen a lot of this uh, artwork before, or maybe... Um, in the contrary, they've actually released it onto Flat Icon as, as assets later. But it, 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 I'm not going to make I'm not going to make any judgments before we've played the game. I am flying blind as always. Um, I do always like to jump in these things completely blind and have a little bit of fun in uh, finding our way around a little bit. I'm hearing the sound of the music in the background, and I have to say, I do quite like it. Um, now, as far as I understand, you it's kind of a, you know, a, 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 an almost spore-type game where you have to uh, evolve your species through a, uh, various events or themes, using uh, DNA to kind of enhance or de-enhance aspects of, of your creatures. And it looks pretty cute, which always is a bit of a bonus. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in with a new game, see what options that we might have. Um, I'm a rabbit, easy and small. Start as a rabbit, 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 more like a frog. Uh, design for, uh, I, 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 uh, I think I like the idea of starting as a squirrel. Let's be a squirrel. So, uh, what options do we have here? We are many. Small and not so easy map where you start as a squirrel. But you can play for multiple species later on. You can also use many more genes to meet animals with different size. This is the third map you should play. Hmm, maybe I should go back a little. Do you know what? Let's just go and start at the beginning. I have a feeling that there is a degree of uh, moving you through the map in a more gentle sedate way i'm a rabbit this map is designed for new players to get familiar with basic game mechanics you can only find a few small animals here all of them are very friendly you are starting the map as a rabbit you can't play for other species or change genes on this map your goal is to have at least 75 rabbits so i guess we got to breed like rabbits uh Okay, so we got a bit of cutesy cutesy stuff going on here. I like the trees, I like the little bushes and the sand piles. Do not much like this grass. It's too highly and it's beveled. Can you see it has lines here and the shading? They could have done that better with a gradient, but I'm going to pick faults. That's a silly thing to be picking fault with. So, welcome in the first map. You will be playing as me. I am so happy to meet you. Enter. Let's go. I'm happy to meet you as well. I live nearby and we can be friends. It's a little hedgehog. I have a hedgehog as a neighbour. I see him at night. I'm a bat and we can be friends as well. So, okay, the game's a bit, a little bit cutesy. Or pretending to be a little bit cutesy. I don't know. 
a lot of weird dialogue going on here between animals, which, okay. We are friends as long as we eat different food. Right, uh, so we have some notifications down here. Uh, rabbit migrated, hedgehog migrated, and the bats migrated. These are our gene points. And the game is now paused. Uh, so these are our gene points, six days. I assume what this is some kind of timing system that we have to do it. And these are victory conditions. So uh, we have to have 75 bunnies. That's our victory. That's our speed. Uh, we got currently 10 rabbits. So uh, select came up to objects by left click on the map or by using wizard. These can be changed in settings. You can also click and drag. Cancel any action by escape or right click. Change game speed. Yada, 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 yada. So we've had a bunny bunny breed. Uh, you know, can we just... I want to slow this down like multiple. Because I want to see what we can do. This is one wabbit. And that's his wabbit territory. These are his details, a den of a rabbit. So, animal diet actions. Den screen shows who consumes the food in the den's territory, the food that can be eaten, or the food that you can eat is highlighted by a uh, green background. A green background, okay. You can eat other food once you have required genes. Genes. Um, well, I normally buy my genes online, but okay, fine. Animals can do several types of actions. High percentage of random movement indicates that animals often don't see food or are too slow. I'm not quite sure what that means. That maybe we have to tell our bunny bunnies to do things. Okay, so actions, 42% moving randomly, 54% eating, 2% moving to food. Food is low grass, berries or insects. Do rabbits eat insects? I've never known rabbits, I don't know, hedgehogs. I know, I know hedgehogs and bats eat insects. Uh, so 100%, Low grass is eaten by the bunnies. Here we have a number of food tiles in territory. Here we have the number average production of the food in the territory per day. And here we have the actual amount of food available, not eaten. So I guess these are co-correspondent to these two factors. Can we change the den name? That would be pretty cool, but obviously not. Here we have the population of warriors. Ooh, nine warriors. Here are the births, the genome, 18%. Does that mean at some point we can genomify? Age, three, nine little bebe be be bebes, and food at 12%. So, I haven't so far actually done anything. What do we have on the ecosystem here? No hunters in the ecosystem, no scavengers. Ooh, a house full of scavengers. So, ah, he made a little funny noise. What, what noise is he making? I don't think I've ever heard a bunny... I really don't think I've ever heard a bunny rabbit make that noise, unless he's strangling it. Animals are born in dens and live in the area around dens called territory. The shape of the, ter the shape of territory can be changed by buttons in the right pa in the right panel. You can see highlighted towel tiles with food that animal can eat. With food that 
that animal can eat. Animals are moving and eating only inside the territory if they don't perform special actions like migration or invasion. I, I, I have to admit, I am a little bit of a grammar Nazi. It is part of, because I'm a teacher of English, but that, whomever has written this, does not have a great grasp of articles. Uh, okay. So, if we click on a territory, that's a den. No, that's not the den. What's a den? That's a den. Okay, so we can migrate the den for 600 genes. Don't know if they're Levi's or Wranglers, but for 600 of them, we can move them. So, the bats are over here. How do we move our was it? Okay, generally speaking, the edgy me hogs are over here. We den of hedgehogs are migrating to den of hedgehogs too. Does that mean they're expanding? Okay, moving randomly 15, 18. Okay, they are breeding. They are breeding. What I would like to know, so these are a little bit bibby bubby, bibby bubbies. That moves the map. Can I, what, 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 what can I actually do with these? They're all in the food. Oh, they're insect mounds. Ah, they're anthills, aren't they? Or oh, they certainly look like anthills. Can, can we eat them? That really is a very, very disturbing noise that they make. I could have sworn a mouse, uh, well, it's not even a mouse, I mean, could have sworn a rabbit makes. So the rabbits don't really make noises, not unless you're hurting them. Uh, not that I ever condone hurting a rabbit. Just I have heard such things when rabbits are in distress, but I would not condone the abuse of any animal. Why are these ones in blue? Because they're not highlighted. The game is pulled. Ah, now they're moving. Oops. Doll. One's normal thing. One is missing a button. One needs to play, right? This has jumped up 40 days. So obviously it's actually the amount of time that's passing. So now... I believe they want, want us to migrate our den. So once your population density is high, and animals start dying of diseases, it seems to be a good time to migrate to new territories. Migration costs you mutation points. The more dens an animal has, the more expansive, exactly. Animals are not eating when migrating, so they can starve to death. So obviously we don't want to migrate them too far away. Now, these are mutation points, not so where would we want to migrate to? This seems pretty good. Ooh. We don't have to migrate everyone, do we? Very good. So these are all the old rabbits. Yeah, go on. Migrate half of you. Go on. So all you go, there you go, running off to your new home. And what that actually should do is double our population ability to, uh, to breed. Now, we're not in... Ooh, we are going to be conflicting with hedgehogs, but we don't actually conflict in food types. Now, our births have gone down and our warrior size has 
somewhat depleted. So I imagine all those little bunny bunnies here are digging their bunny holes at the moment and going off finding bunny food to bunny eat. That sounds a bit like, ooh. So, what do we have? What do we have here? We have eight young, four adult, two old. We have three with normal food, zero hungry, and ten well fed. Okay, I'm getting this now. Here we have one normal and seventeen well fed. And here we have eight, nine. Nine, nine young ones, one old. So, mutation points are generated each day. It's calculated as sum of all your of stars from all your dens plus four. Can be different on other maps. Dens are producing stars based on its population density. The higher density is, the higher the density is, the more stars are produced. The more stars that are produced. Larger animals can produce more stars than small ones. Okay, let me just read that back so I fully understand this in my own head. The points are generated each day, yeah, cool. They're calculated as a sum of all the stars, yeah, I dig that. And the stars are, but the more stars are produced based on how many there are in a denser area. Uh, and obviously, then Larger animals produce more stars because it's denser, generally speaking. So, the other question is, where do we see the stars? Maybe they're, the, uh, maybe they're your mutation point stars. Let's go dump, put it on a one plus one speed. I don't actually see any stars. Oh, can I, I can... I don't want to migrate, but I can. Uh, so if I click on that and I move it, what happens? Uh. Right, dig it. I get it. So moving it. It means we can move populations between each den. So if we've got too many old old fogies in one den, then we can move some to the other to help with the reproduction, like in this case. So F1 to display help. I know you can find the information about right. Uh, key bindings changes. What's that there? Click to change speed, victory conditions, number of days from the start of the game, number of mutation, number of animals in each den for each species. Perfect. So we got 32 and 24. We are. We've topped the 50 mark. Ooh, the hedgehogs are invading the bats. Dun dun. Uh, now we are re okay. They're migrating. It, it, it beeps noises at me, and it scares me for a moment. Uh, well, scares me. I mean, that's a bit of an exaggeration. It alerts me to the potential risk of uh, attack, alienation, or some other occurrence that I may need to attend to as a player of their game. Now. I can see these hedgy hogs wandering around here, and do I actually have some warriors? So, way I was victorious! Ba-boom! All the rabbits were bred, and I finished it in ten minutes. Okay, we're going to have another one more round of this. Oh, I didn't want to continue playing. No, I didn't. I wanted to move to the next level. How do I move to the next level? I only have 73 now. Ah, two died. They did. So now I have... Well, 
Why can I not? Inv ah, invasion is not allowed. But I do have 75 rabbits. Now I only have 71, so what, 40? They're dying. Me ribby rabbits are dying. Okay, I have a solution for that. What do you mean I can't migrate so far from the original den? Well, that'll help my population. That'll jump it up an exper experimentally amount. I think you obviously know me. I, I meant exponential amount. Cheapers, creepers. There's a lot of them hedgehogs there. For sure, for sure, what we're going to be doing with those hedgehogs. I know there's a lot of bats as well. Uh, I must. They're eating all my food. They're invading me. How can I attack them? They're eating all my food. Okay, I've got to hit those victory conditions again. Yeah, okay, so how do I move on to the next level? Because otherwise I'm going to get eaten out of house and home. Victory conditions, yeah, so. Uh, things are going to go very bad if I don't sort this out. I should have moved to the next level. Uh, okay, let's exit. No, I don't want to do that. Let's save game. Game name. Yeah. Okay, so. Wabbits. Go on, let's go and call it Wabbit Wabbits. Now. Now we've saved the game, let's return to the main menu and what, what else we got here? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next map. So now we have to mainly about changing genes and fighting. You can only find small herbivores here. There is a limited number of genes you can use. You are starting the map as a rabbit. Your goal is to have at least 90 animals and to kill at least 30 enemies. You should fight species that eats food in your territories. You have to have at least one food to be able to fight enemies. Hi, I live in Fever nearby and we can be friends, we eat different things. Yep, I agree. Cool. I don't like you, you eat my grass, said Mr. Chicken. Game's on. Game is on, let's go and kick the ass of those chickens. So, let's slow this down a little bit. See where the chuck chucks are. The bats are there. The chuck chucks are there. And the hedgy me hogs are there. Now, I wonder if there's any way to ally yourself with a species, for that would be a good thing to do. So let's have a look at the genome, because we've not had a look at this yet. So we can speed up reproduction, agility, digestion, fighting. I mean, at this stage of the game, I think one is going to have to mention Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Because, as we all know, or 
those who have seen it, rabbits can be a fearsome, fearsome, fearsome creature. And I think we're going to have to make an army of rabbits, all armed with flick, flick knives, tattoos, and knuckle dusters. So, we're going to have to do it, aren't we? Doom, doom. So, genes are divided into six categories. Each gene consumes specified amount of points in its category. You can really change genes within each category. You have to pay mutation points to increase capacity maximum of category. Most of the genes modify animal attributes. Some genes are giving animal special skills, like hunting larger animals than themselves. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Claws, tough skin, teeth, insert gene. They're going to have the nettly teeth, the biting and the chewing and the biting. Okay, can we do that? So, do we have gnarly teeth now? I think we have gnarly teeth. We have the gnarly teeth. Now, now we can... Now we can... Now we can do the bitey bitey. So, you go eat that grass. You go eat that grass until we can my, my Can we do anything else? Like, I mean, bunnies do breed like bunnies. So, I mean, what more can you say? I don't think we can change anymore. No, uh, no. They got a 58 and a 68. So we were, we, 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 we're worse than the chickens now. Now we can fight a chicken. We can do some um, cockfighting. You know, put a rabbit in a put a rabbit in a pen with a with a cock. See who comes out top. And I tell you right now, it's going to be my Elmer Fudd rabbits. Once your population is density is high and animals start dying as a disease, it is a very good time to migrate to new territories. This costs you mutation points. The more dense animal has, the more... It's... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we know that, but we need the mutation points. And they are not eating as much as they should. They aren't really eating very much, are they now? So we got six, seven youngins. We got 13 adults. They're okay for food ish. Ish. But we need these points. The bats are already migrating. The bats are already migrating now. Is there. What's that? You can attack other den only if you have some warriors. The same size and at least one food in common can be adjusted by gene. Warriors are all adult animals that are not hungry. Okay, I think I, I think we got some of them. Warriors! Okay, so invade. You can't invade species in the first 90 days. I'm going to come for you, Chuck Tucks. Am I coming for you, Chuckies? It's another can eat food, forest. Okay. They look at are they hungry? They look like they have some kind of something or other around them. Uh, maybe maybe they are hungry. No, they're well fed. Well, I mean, we got a, a, a lot of these. Ooh, one is one is hungry, hungry. I mean, how do we how do we? S they're migrating. Uh, what did I want? I wanted F one, wasn't it? 
No, that's this. Uh, shape of territory, actions, information. Uh, okay, it's not telling me what I wanted to know. So we can increase. We can increase the territory like this. Food. Food. I think we can eat those. That's good. That's good. Invade. Who are we going to invade? The chucks. All rabbits. Fight. Come on, my rabbit boys and girls and other rabbits. With the gnarly little gnarly teeth, can you? I I, I can see their axes. Are they ready? There's more, a lot more of them than, than than we have. So come on, rabbits! Oh, slice and dice. Well, no, that that chicken. He was a terminator chicken. Oh, they slaughtered me. They slaughtered me. Oh, 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 that was not good. That was not good. Our def our attack has to be much higher than their defense. Uh, what else can we give ourselves? Can we give ourselves claws? Now we've got to be better than them. So that gives us a 73 and a 78. Can we? No, we do. We already have stealth. Can we improve? No, we. Okay, for the moment. For the moment, we can add anything. Now, unfortunately, that decimated our population and i mean absolutely decimated our population uh we attacked far too preemptively but in our or my defense if we get attacked by the chuck chucks there's no way they're going to be able to be successful we are just too powerful in defense and when we have enough population but we're gonna to have to double the den size for that then i believe we will be able to uh i do believe we will be able to kill them that gives us higher defense I don't want that. I want higher attack. Okay, that gives us nearly a hundred defense in a seventy-eight fight. But I've spent all my gene points on that rather than expansion. Now that's a in admittance or to admit that is a slightly different tactic to how I might ordinarily play. Okay, we better go and have a look at the ecosystem. Uh, F12, F2 to display ecosystem. You can see what animals are eating. So I do believe we need to take a look at that. Uh, flowers, the chuck chucks can eat. Mushrooms, nobody eats. Low grasses. Us and the chuck chucks. Insects are eaten by the bats and the hedgehogs. Nobody eats tree leaves. So the chuck chucks are in competition with the bats and us. And the bats are in competition with the chuck chucks and the hedgehogs. And the hedgehogs are solely in the competition of the bats. Okay. So, are they going to invade? 
or they oh no they look like they're migrating now what happens what else can we add to our uh oh we don't have any more far-sighted can we make ourselves far-sighted no can we fertilize ourselves no we're already pretty fertile uh immunity no what else can we add a climber fast no we are pretty fast Come on, let's go breed like bunnies. I don't really uh, no, Okay, I'm, I, we'll see what that does. I mean, we've got 18 warriors again. We can invade. How much does it cost to invade? Go on, I want to invade. Fight. Fight, 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 fight. Now, come on, we really must kick that. How is that possible? Come on. Our attack is much, much higher than theirs. Much higher than their defense. I mean, what a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I think I'm looking at the wrong thing there. Uh... We got 26 rabbits. Are they invading me? They are, they're eating my food. Fight, go on, more of you, all of you. Kill all the chickens. Kill all the chickens. We are contesting. Aha! We killed them! Den of chickens three died out. So let's go and attack the den of chickens, the other one. But we are, I mean, I, I gotta be honest, I have a feeling that uh, this is not really helping our evolution very much. Have we? Our attack is 78, which is much higher than their defense. Our defense is 98. Maybe it's not working exactly how I'm suspecting it's working. Maybe it's not working exactly. It's more of a, a percentage type thing. But I mean, I'm happy with the den of rabbits are invading. Yeah, yeah, den of chickens because we're, we're going all wicky wacky. Uh, right, we've only got one olden. One is it's because they bloody ate all our food. Chuck Chucks ate all our food. Den of chickens, you are not. I tell you right now you're not, because I'm taking out den two. What? How else can we mute it to Uh Let's give you some more agility. Yeah, okay. I'm spending all, all my money on... on um, the genome rather than migrating. And uh, as I mentioned or started to mention just now, this is quite a different tactic to me. Normally I would expand, 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 turn into a turtle, i.e. turtle defense, and then go on the attack. But now I'm doing an, what? I'm doing an orc rush. So, you can press F4 to display fights history. You can find here at least 50 fights happened on each line you when you fight. Who is the attacker and defender? How many animals treated? And how many animals killed? So is that on my F4? That would be very, very useful right now. So, 
Defenders are the truck trucks. Uh, attacking force nine. Casualties one. Retreated none. Two. What's this truck truck that died? I mean, I, I mean, despite what I'm saying, I, I am doing an awfully good job of killing truck trucks here. Let's invade again. I mean, I'm sending all my warriors. This is like, um, what's his name? Lord Coney, the Lord's Army in Africa, sending all the young'uns. Uh, okay, so we have killed an awful lot of chickens. We've really pushed them back. Uh, and that has allowed the bats to take some kind of preeminence in this zone. Now I'm happy with the fact of what we've done here. Let's have a look at victory conditions. We've got to kill 30 and have 90. So we nearly, we've only got to kill 11 more. And we will be at the stage where one can move to the next map. Okay, so everyone's going home now. We got plenty of food. I don't know why people are hungry, but our warriors are down. We need to, well, we need to get that up to 600 so that we can actually migrate. And we can, are we going to push into the truck truck area? No, 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 no. I think we're going to push into the hedgehog area because it is somewhat safer insofar as they are not competing for food. Okay, so this is the second map now. And I think I can make a, a relatively, relatively fair assessment of the game. I mean, I, I obviously haven't seen anything like the end game or anything larger than a squirrel or a bat or whatever it may be. Um, as a casual game, I actually think it really could be quite fun. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's slow and I wouldn't say it's fast. I mean, obviously, these are still the easy levels, uh, but I wouldn't say it's either. You are constantly entertained or having to think about it or think about a, a, a particular strategy. It's not just a case of point, click, go, and, you know, hope for the best or anything like that. There is a, a degree of, you know, thinking about where what one might grow, one, what, what resources you might have. I mean, obviously, counter to a lot of uh, very typical colony builder games, you, you're not actually building anything. You're using the resources that are available to you. And in a quite good ecological way, you've got to think about not overextending your resources, i.e. eating everything in one area, like a plague of locusts or a plague of humans. Um, we have made our second den now. Couldn't think of the name there. Uh, we can invade from here, but we only have an eight population. Let's let them build their little bunny homes a bit more. Uh, and then we're going to do an attack from both. Now, this one's got 18, so... Let's go and attack here again, but no. Oh, that's a bat base. Dun -dun 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 -dun, bat base. I wonder if we would run into. Oh, what's his name? 
my God, why can I not think of his name? Very famous, very famous in the world of comics. Alfred. Thank you. It came to me eventually. Uh, now, oh, we've gone into full, full Monty Python rabbit mode. No, even white rabbits. Ah, oh, rabbit attack. Death from above. Um, and all that nice good stuff. Uh, I think we're going to... Do you know, that's actually... Without thinking about it or without doing it consciously, I've just done this exactly like you should do it because rabbits are like orcs. They breed like orcs, they're basic, and the best way to defeat or the best way to win with them is rough. So I actually did it in the right way. So Let's go and get you to invade and defy again. Yeah, fight, 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 fight. Like, like at the school ground. Invade again. Fight, fight. All of you. Uh, now, can we genomify ourselves? What does you? I don't know how much food do you need, and how fast the food is like represents how fast and how the maximum number of genes that an animal can have. Oh, we want some of this. God, tell us we can't do it. No, we can't. Because we've used all our gene points. Uh, we used all our gene points on making everybody killer killer rabbits. Unfortunately. So actually what we need to do now is slowly spread into the next grassed zone. Now we either go south or we go further east. I want a constant invasion on this den. Constant invasion. If you're not invading the den, you're not working. You're not doing the bunny job that you were bunny born to bunny do. Go on. Go on, you little bunnies. Kill the chickens. Kill the chickens. I can see you. With your twirling axes. Uh, we are 800, so we're not too far from being able to... Uh, denify ourselves again. Uh, okay, so now we can migrate again. That is too far from the original den. Perfect to me. I'll have you there. That will migrate us. Uh, I think, uh, do you know, I'm giving a, a rough population of each den of being about 30. Uh, okay, so back here, we got 16 warriors, invade, kill all the chickens, kill the chicken. You know, this is, <laughs> this is no poultry task we're after here, we need to kill all the chickens. Uh, if it were a, a more poultry task... Or a less poultry task, then it wouldn't be poultry farming, would it? I do like these twirling axes. I have to say, the graphics are pretty simple, but they really do represent exactly what you need. What more do you really need than that? You know, there's again, I, I like a good bit of graphics and a good bit of. Uh, you know, AAA titles with flashy this and flashy that. But really, what more do you need than this? So they are migrating again, but I think that's because I kicked their bombs back to next week. So we need... Oh, no, the, the bats are attacking them as well. That's why. 
they're being batified at the same time. Nora batted. Okay, I think I can do that. I mean, what what do I need for the next break? My oof, my births and deaths are right down. What what's my targets here? Uh, bats are oh, bats against chickens. Uh, one ran away, nine killed none, killed none, killed three, killed five. Um, I might need I might need to take a little bit of a break from killing chickens so that you know you see they killed they're killing me we need it's it's a war of attrition at the moment we need to take a uh, a breeding break, one might say. A breeding break. Because all our warriors have been off fighting the chickens for the last year. Somebody's eating all my blooming food. And I am not bunny happy about it. Go on, bats, kill them chickens. Uh, what do we need for victory conditions? I must have killed 30 now. Yeah, 45. So we're at 65 animals. Ooh, that does not look good. That does not look good. Uh, why? Are you dying of disease? Not enough of you? Food is not fantastic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But we can leave the bunnies to breed for a while. 30, 25, okay, that's going up. That's good. That's good. Uh, still a lot of these chickens left. Now, how many warriors here? We got 18 here. We got eight here. And we got 20 here. Ooh. An awful lot of bunnies. But really we need... Ah, oh, go on. Invade again. Chicken. Chicken run. Doo -doo. Combat ensue. Uh, you can invade. Perfect. So, we completed that in 27 minutes, 27 seconds, in one year and 212 days. Uh, we got a three-star rating. A required for three-star rating is two years. Well, we completed it in, in half that time, so we got top marks. Um, so, we would be ready then to... Go into the squirrel and increase ourselves to squirrels, medium squirrels. But actually, we're going to leave it there for today. So if you have enjoyed this in any way and you have got this far, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff, because it really does help. The